So what movie sets am I looking forward to? Now this is a big one because I already explained and basically told you about a bunch of sets. Now I get confused with MacGyver a lot. And I wanted to mention this first because when I, when I talked about, when I, I don't think I talked about MacGyver in a while, but it, it came out in January, so I can't expect that for a long time. But MacGyver is a show that's cheap. Right now it's 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 at about nineteen bucks for the season. Where are you gonna find a TV season that's like nineteen bucks? You're not gonna find it. The whole point I'm trying to make is is that that's why, because the show is kind of half free. But it's kind of funny to see the bad acting in it and just how you know how bad it can be. One of the guys is from CSI, I think, and um, it seems like he just I don't know what happened to his acting, but it's just I know CSI isn't the I would call it the greatest show ever, but he was a lot better than that. So yeah, so um, that was something I just wanted to mention. What else did I want to mention? Ooh, so many things for me to mention. Um, let's just say, well, let, let me just mention the most, the one I'm looking forward to the most. Now, I'm, I'm looking forward to the NCIS set, not so much because of what's going on in the show, because the show took a downfall. It's changed a lot of its characters, and it's not the same thing. I'm looking forward to that. Because I want to see if they're going to copy the case design from last year and all the previous years. Every single year, NCIS released itself with tiny little plastic cases that came out. And depending on how many discs there are, if there's six discs, they're going to have three cases. If there's seven, there'll be four. Um, and they would put those cases as um, where you, you get the discs from. And I thought it was pretty decent because it had... On the back, it had all the episode descriptions and all kinds of things. None of the other NCISs had that. Los Angeles didn't have it. New Orleans didn't have it. A lot of them didn't. They just didn't, none of them had it. And I'm really anxious to see what's going to happen. Since it's coming in the mail, I have no clue what's going to happen. Um, I'm going to have to make a decision on that one and go from there. But... Uh, I think they'll finish it out. I mean, if they did it for 16 straight seasons, I think it was only... The season 12 was the only one that was on Blu-ray. That was the only one that... But it still had it in that season, too. It's just that season had a Blu-ray also. That's the only one I don't have. We'll see what happens with that. That's the most anticipated one to look forward to every year, making sure I get the right case. Because they do make NCIS in a different case. I saw it in Canada once. It was just one of those regular plastic things you open. Those plastic disc circles inside. I'm looking at myself and saying, I don't want something like this. Because those things break easily. There's these little plastic things on the top. And if you, if you move the thing too fast, they can crack and they break. So I'd rather just have the regular cases. And hopefully that's what's going to happen. The regular cases there. We'll see, we'll see what happens. Um, I can't exactly say to myself that anything crazy is going to happen, but um, who knows what's going to happen. I'm a little disappointed because everything is online now. Most of these sets, like I said before, are probably going to be on the internet only. You're not going to find them in the stores. It's funny, last year Walmart was the only one to have, I think, New Orleans and Los Angeles. Or something like that. I say to myself, wow, not one other store had it, but Walmart did. But then Walmart didn't have everything else that all the other stores had. But it's a, it's a big challenge. One store has one thing, one store has the other. I'm, as a, and I, after collecting movies for over a decade, I can tell you that, or more like, um, yeah, more than a, a decade and a half, I can tell you that I've never seen it so bad where you have to go everywhere to, to buy certain things. The internet, a store. This year I'm just going to buy it on the store. To tell you the truth, I don't even think I'm going to care anymore so much. I like going to the store, but considering what's happening, I don't think it's a big deal. Um, this Blu-ray sets too. Glad to report. I was really glad about NC, not, not NCIS, um, what was it? Jeez, now I'm losing it. Blacklist. The latest season of The Blacklist, I was really, really surprised that um, they didn't do anything with the Blu-ray because they cut back on that. 
Last year they cut back. They cut back on it. And they did. They didn't include a digital copy, copy anymore. And I was actually surprised. I was saying to myself, um, "Wow!" I was like, "I didn't think they would do this." And then this year I thought they were just going to get rid of the Blu-ray altogether and come out with just a DVD. But they didn't do that, luckily. But I'm not. Can't expect much from the Blu-ray. Expecting too much from. You can't expect much from these companies anymore. Physical copies are. Like I said, I can't believe it's still going on. I, I can't believe they still offer it. There were certain certain shows that don't offer them at all. A show like Manifest. You know, I thought Manifest was a very good show. I didn't think it was perfect, but I thought it was pretty good. They didn't, from what I read online, I can't find season two anywhere. So I guess they're not going to release it. There's not even a real definitive website that'll tell me if it's coming out or not. So I have no idea what Manifest. That kind of sucks. I think they're gonna finish Blind Spot though. There's only the they already finished the final season, so I assume they're gonna have a box set that comes out with that. Um, then you get all the DC shows like D. Um, this is another one. Legends of T Legends of Tomorrow um, releases on DVD at Best Buy only DVD, nothing else. I don't understand this because the Blu-ray is available at Target, Walmart. Amazon, but you cannot buy the Legends of Tomorrow Blu-ray at Best Buy. I, I don't understand. Maybe I should check it again. It might show it up. Another, another thing to keep in mind is, is that there's always these deals and agreements these companies make with each other. The two N um, NCIS, as I mentioned, that were from Walmart also have to remember that those also showed up on bestbuy.com but only about a week or two after it came out i don't understand i never saw anything like that a store starts selling an item two weeks two weeks after it came out or a week that was ridiculous huh? but i'm glad i still didn't buy it from them another thing about customer service is another thing you don't really have to deal with when buying movies i think that's a good thing too uh, I look at customer service as pitiful nowadays. There's no way you can go and get a decent amount of customer service. Sorry, it's not possible. I went a million places and I've looked at customer service and I've seen nothing but disappointment. And I don't think I'm going to find anything great in the near future either. So um, if you just if you can get something, I guess you should just go online now. If people complain about steel books getting dented up and all that. I look at the steel books. There's really no big market to sell them. It's for collectors. They're nice, but if you collect them for yourself, if you're gonna go and sell them on eBay, they have to be brand new and shrink wrapped from the store. That's the only way you're gonna make any money off of them. I know, because I have bought a couple of steel books and I got conned the shit out of from buying them, but they sell them brand new. For people that are worried about a few dents, so there's a, a couple of small dents on it when you get it from the mail. You're gonna have to live with it, I'm telling you right now. Or you could go to the store. You know what's pathetic about going to the store? What's pathetic about that is, is that sometimes they only have one steel book for a movie. My local Best Buy had that. With the last, you know, it's not the last I'm trying to get, the, the wit, nah, it's not Harry Potter, it's the other thing that J.K. Rowling made. That movie, da da da, I know I'm gonna come up with it. Um, Whatever it's called, you know what I'm, t you know what I'm talking about. The other Harry, the other thing that J.K. Rowling made, that movie was at my local Best Buy. I think I made a video about that on my channel somewhere. One steelbook copy in the whole store. That's not the only movie. There are many other movies that have only one steelbook copy, and I don't understand that. To put one steelbook copy in the store, that's why your best just um, your better off just if you can buy it online is buy it online I'm telling you right now what they should do considering what's going on right now they should offer shipping for all items they shouldn't have any special steel books that are exclusive to a store I haven't seen any yet but I know I'm gonna see some they're exclusive to the store only um, the reason why you don't see many is because the movies have been cancelled, so nobody's been able to release any movies on tape. But I see in the near future that's going to happen. Uh, they're going to continue those steel books again, and I don't think they should restrict them to the store. It's a stupid thing to do, especially if um, 
less people are buying Blu-rays and everything, I don't think they're going to be like, more likely to go to the store anymore. They're going to want to stay home and get it in the mail. But I can totally understand why collectors get them through the mail. That's just basically their thing. Alright. Bye-bye.